Confidence vote in the Irish Prime Minister, Brian Cowan, this afternoon. Let's go to Dublin uh, and the uh, leader of the opposition, Labour Party, uh, Eamon Gilmore. Uh, Ms Gilmore, thank you uh, for your patience. Uh, obviously, uh, they're your opponents, but uh, what is your expectations on the outcome of the uh, vote of no confidence in Brian Cowan uh, by his party this evening? Well, I think the expectation here is that uh, Mr. Cowan will survive the motion of no confidence. Uh, but this is no longer an issue that is just about Fianna Foyle. The problem that we have here right now is that we have a dysfunctional government. Uh, the Green Party have already announced that they intend to withdraw from government and that there should be a general election called before the end of January. A number of ministers, Fianna Foyle ministers, have already indicated that they're not going to contest the next general election. Uh, now we have a leadership row uh, within Fianna Foyle. Uh, and meanwhile, uh, there's nobody running the country. Uh, we have very real problems here. Uh, this month, uh, working people here have seen their pay packets cut. People who are already paid weekly or fortnightly have already had a big hole put in their pay packets. People on welfare payments have had big reductions. Uh, and later this month, people who are monthly paid will see the impact of the various taxes uh, that were brought in in the budget. And what people want to see here is they want to see a change. They want to see a new government. We need, as a country, we need to have a new government in place, one that has authority to deal with the problems uh, that the country faces. And the sooner we get to that point, the better. Well, I understand that, but most people have pencilled in a general election for March. Are you saying that there is simply no way uh, that uh, uh, the various parties you've mentioned can precipitate one? Well, the Labour Party has tabled a motion of no confidence in the government uh, because we want to bring all of this to a head. Uh, when we came back here after the Christmas, it was quite clear that Fianna Fáil's strategy was to try and string things out for as long as possible. The election that was supposed to be called by the end of January gradually became an election that was going to be called by the end of March. Then that moved uh, to April. And literally every excuse under the sun is now being found uh, to try and prolong that. Uh, and meanwhile, uh, there is the row within Fianna Fáil. So what we have here at the moment is we have a government that's more preoccupied with its own political survival and the political future of the Fianna Fáil party than it is with the problems that face the people of the country and that face the country's economy. So that has to be brought to an end. And for that yeah, reason, you're, you're uh, saying there's no way of doing it. And, and I mean, the truth of the matter is, uh, in your heart of hearts, you probably hope that Brian Cowan survives uh, this vote of no confidence because you'd rather fight him uh, in a general election than a fresh leader. Uh, isn't that the case? No, it's not about uh, the individual leader at all. And that is why the Labour Party motion has been uh, a motion of no confidence in the government as a whole. Uh, the Fianna Fáil party, irrespective of who has been leading it, and it has had two leaders now over the past uh, three years, or who might be leading it, is frankly not capable of bringing about either the political or the economic recovery that this country needs. There are those who say that the best way for uh, Ireland to get out of its uh, economic difficulties would be to default uh, on what it agreed with the European Union and the IMF. What's your answer to that? Well, the Labour Party believes that we will have to renegotiate the deal that was done with the EU and the IMF. We need to remember that that deal was uh, put together at great speed before Christmas and in circumstances which were to Ireland's disadvantage. It is also clear that that deal is not working. It's not working either for Ireland or indeed for Europe. That deal was supposed to halt uh, the difficulties that other European Union states were having. Uh, that hasn't happened. But the most the biggest problem that the Labour Party sees in that deal is that it does not contain an investment strategy or a strategy that will allow for growth in the Irish economy and for people to get back to work. The Irish economy is not going to recover unless we get people back to work and get real ac ac economic activity moving again. So that renegotiation would be the price of uh, joining a coalition government after uh, the upcoming election? The Labour Party will be seeking a mandate from the Irish people at the general election, whenever it is called, to renegotiate that deal. Uh, in our view, uh, the deal is not working. Uh, Ireland has been uh, presented with 
uh, penal interest rates. Uh, it is not acceptable that you have European Union institutions borrowing at one rate of interest and then lending it on to Ireland uh, at 3% uh, uh, more than that. That's putting a penalty on Ireland. But more importantly yeah, than that, more uh, the, deal worthy, does not allow, the, the deal does not allow for uh, the Irish economy to grow and for jobs to be sustained here and for new jobs to be created. Mr Gilmore, thank you very much indeed for joining us. We'll have uh, full reports on the fate of uh, Brian Cowan uh, later on this evening.